Good afternoon and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep. My name is Savitri Krishnamurti. Welcome to my weekly editorial analysis. Today, I have not taken an editorial. I have chosen and to take an excerpt or I have taken an excerpt from Aeon Essays. Okay. I have tried to uh, cut it down to a size that is both intelligible enough for you to know the main point at the same time not overwhelmingly long but after this session i want you to read the entire article it's a fantastic article good afternoon nishank vaishnav sonali uh, nidhi i hope you did enough reading over the weekend and on monday okay next time we should you should along with your uh, wishes you should also let me know what you read over the past week okay since last tuesday to this tuesday what did you read good afternoon pranav jagan uh, pratyusha very good afternoon to all of you all right as usual i will be showing you each slide for 40 seconds all right if you've done before that mark done but 35 to 40 seconds is what I will show while you read the article try to remember what the main point of each of the slides is so that you can summarize along with me hello Gautam all right are you ready to begin shall we start yeah if you like the session please don't forget to press the like button share the video with your friends and do subscribe to our channel all right your 40 seconds starts now, psychology of money, great Vaishnav. All right, start. Done. Next slide. Done? All right. Next slide. Done. Good. Next. Next slide.
Done? Okay, next slide. Okay, I want you to answer some questions before we answer questions about this passage. What is the difference between what you read now and the earlier editorials? What was one main point of difference you found between the editorials that we have done in the past few weeks and today's article? Just one word, one sentence answers. Was it different? How was it different? Anyone? Yes, it was different. How was it different? Was it more, was it tougher or easier to read? Was it more logical or less logical? Did it have more statistics, less statistics? What struck you about this article? One, one sentence, one comment about what struck you about this article. It was philosophical. All right. What was the topic? What, what is it talking about? What is one, if I had to give you one word or give you two words to describe this passage, what is the subject of this passage? It is tougher, always tougher when it is theorizing about something. It was theorizing, giving a theory about what? Was the passage about Sweden or was Sweden an example to uh, illustrate something that the author said? Was, okay, if I ask you, was the main subject Sweden? Was the main, yes, it was an argumentative passage, more like a cat passage, yes. Based on logical thinking. The author, it was not about COVID-19. Was it about COVID-19? It was about, was it about Sweden in particular? Or was it, was Sweden the main point, the subject? Or the subject was something else and Sweden was given as an example to support that? Was it the main point? Question one, yes or no? Was Sweden the main point? Give me an answer to that first. Then I'll summarize it with you. Was Sweden the main point or example? MP for main point, example EG. E dot G. Small e dot G. Sweden was not the main point. Sweden was given as an example. As an example of what? That is the subject of the theory, the author's theory. Right? All right. Therefore, First paragraph, let me go back to the past, uh, summary I had just done. Starts like this. During the pandemic, Sweden was about the only country, perhaps the only country, which did not impose strict lockdowns and restrictions. And it was accused of different things. Right? That is the first paragraph. Second, the world has a misconception about Sweden. Some thought it's a socialist paradise another one says it's a libertarian paradise you can't be both socialism stands for control and good of the state and community libertarianism believes in individualism so some thought it was this side some thought it was that side the author says both are wrong right so the world has a misconception of sweden it has never been a socialistic pa socialist paradise nor a libertarian haven that people believe it is today. In the past, it was not a socialist uh, paradise. Now, it is not a libertarian haven. It's neither, according to the author. 
then he goes on to say to understand sweden you have to understand something else the entire past please read this article very well written article on a difficult concept about social he goes into social contract he goes about uh, individuals role in a state it's a very long article i have chosen just a few paragraphs from it so he says all human beings face this dilemma it's called he calls it an existential paradox which was first uh, enunciated by kant that they want to detach themselves from society they want to be sovereign individuals but they feel the necessity for society this was told by kant this was told by a swedish philosopher called gustav gage both of them said this is what they face all societies have sought to balance these contradictory human impulses these two impulses that exist in a human being the desire to be alone to be detached to be individual in a sovereign independent individual not dependent on society and the truth that you are dependent on society you need society to fulfill your individualistic desires so most societies have sought to balance this these contradictory impulses in doing that some have gone totally the individualistic way some have gone totally the state or collective way but sweden has done something unique according to the author sweden has not compromised in either direction it has embraced the paradox and somehow managed to get both of them he just said it has embraced the kantian paradox head on now you have to read the entire article to see how it has done that so i have not said any questions on how has it managed to do it but according to the author sweden has managed to do it now what has happened when you simplify this something as abstract as what you read in the passage becomes clear to you right first question which one best represents the flow of ideas in the passage please read it carefully remember our summary and try to see that the key points are all mentioned which one gets it closest is it a coronavirus sweden misconception utopia is it b kantian paradox balance of impulses other societies swedish society is it c pandemic lockdown existential paradox perfect balance or is it d sweden as a society existential paradox perfect balance perfect society author suppose yes throughout the author in the passage he says how sweden got it right how sweden is neither this nor that read the entire passage for you to know so there seems to be a tussle utopia means a perfect ideal state okay dystopia total chaos opposite of utopia okay there seem to be a uh, a b and c i see all three answers all right let's start with a is a the correct answer those of you who mark b and c why did you eliminate a give me one reason quickly why was a eliminated those of you who marked b and c those of you who marked a i understand i am not saying you are right but i am saying okay you you think this best represents it but those of you who marked b and c what what was the reason you eliminated a utopia hasn't been mentioned it doesn't say sweden is a perfect society second sweden is an example of a main point so you can't say the entire main point is a key point of the passage is sweden or coronavirus the first two pass par first paragraph which talks about sweden's response during the coronavirus had different reactions but it reacted like that because of the way it is therefore even if you look at you want to sum up the first paragraph and you say either coronavirus or sweden should be there then it should be just one word second these two should need not be there and second sweden is just an example maybe it can 
you can still put it as something but something about it is not the first time sweden has been mentioned is more as an example and as you said the clear mistake is use of the word utopia all right those of you who marked b why did you eliminate c what was your reason for not choosing c over b and those of you who marked b what is so good about c that you didn't what's the difference between b and c those of you who marked b instead of c tell me what is one reason you eliminated c why did you not mark c pandemic and lockdowns come as one keyword all right now here there is no mention this could be anything perfect balance of what perfect society as what so the problem with c is it it seems a little too general it could stand for anything that happened during the pandemic lockdown pandemic and lockdown are part of the same paragraph so both of them cannot be keywords if you want to really say the key idea was during the pandemic sweden did not have lockdowns others had lockdowns right so here again it's not giving the entire picture though it has given two good things right between b and d why not nobody chose d right why sweden as a society existential paradox should be the other way around remember even when you are looking at the flow of ideas it's not just keywords it's also the order in which the ideas appear in the passage that's very important so here it seems to be a mishmash of everything okay swedish society has been mentioned you can mention that swedish society is a blend of individual and a collectivism that is not wrong but the key here is that was not the first thought we first talked about existential paradox and then the author says how sweden managed to balance both other societies have tried but they have failed therefore this one existential paradox is a better word than kantian paradox but the paradox that kant mentioned first has been called existential paradox so both can go balance of impulses okay which other societies have failed and swedish society has managed well so it is the best of bad options none of the options really sum it up as well but the one that sums it up best is b okay c is a little too general and it messes out a key word by putting two keywords for one of the past paragraphs all right so b is the correct answer agreed all right which one best represents the connection between kant and gustav gesa the author mentions both i'll take you back to the paragraph okay so you can read about both of them okay so any any specific idea question always go back to the passage and uh, read here here he, first kant has been mentioned here all right where he says he coined a phrase a social sociability where he said that we have an impulse to associate with our own kind but we also want to be individualistic which threatens society then next he mentions this paragraph so read this all human beings can't argued have a predisposition to isolate themselves rooted in a desire to arrange everything according to their own fancy yet this contradiction is not merely some tragic circumstance that condemns humanity to unending unhappiness 19th century swedish philosopher erik gustav geiger saw movement between the community and autonomy serves to strengthen each element the individual and the society how the more individuals detach themselves 
the more they feel the baleful nature of the of uh, this necessity that forces them to be part of the bond of mutual dependence one side they are torn by individualism other side they are drawn towards society this is what gage said this is what kant said so he is uh, independence autonomy is independence okay all right so what did kant say we have two impulses we have a desire to 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 isolate ourselves and yet we want society but this isolation and living in a society need not end in tragedy as the swedish philosopher said though we have a disposition to to isolate ourselves the more we try to isolate ourselves the more we are drawn closer to society so what is common between both of them which of the options best describes the commonality both lauded sweden for its perfect solution to the existential paradox both opposed state interference in the private domain both acknowledged the existential paradox in human beings or both advocated maximizing social and political control now that you read the relevant part of the passage it is very clear that the answer is both acknowledge these two contradictory impulses in human beings therefore the correct answer is c excellent all of you got that but the key here is you have to go back and read the relevant part of the passage next time i will not read it for you you have to read it yourself okay i'll just show you the relevant part of the passage and i'll not say look look here the answer is sitting here okay you don't need that spoon feeding from me next time all right which one which of the following can be concluded from the first paragraph of the passage do you remember the first paragraph of the passage or do you want me to take you back to the passage do you want me to take you back to the pa first paragraph or do you remember it and you can mark the right answer mark the answer as it is i will take you back after that pranav quickly mark what answer would you mark if you didn't read the passage which is a mistake but let let me just show you okay so get this wrong the mistake is on me if you get it wrong try to mark without looking at the passage that will be a lesson to you never to do it in the exam because then you are likely to make a mistake all right okay then we'll cancel this answer if you're right fine if you're wrong we'll cancel the answer we'll look at the passage and answer all right okay let me now take you back to the passage yes this is the first paragraph all right quickly read through it what did it say again when you read it second time you need only half the time i gave you so i'll give you about 15 seconds okay even if you got the question right which many of you did you need to uh, just quickly glance at the passage no no d is not confirmed d says both advocated maximizing social and political uh, sorry not this not this sorry sorry Look, i'm getting the wrong question um question 3 right yeah many of you marked c now you know why ishank is correct why all of you are wrong why is ishank correct why all of you is are wrong 
because the first paragraph doesn't talk about the global reaction the first paragraph only talks about america's reaction that is where a cat question setter will catch you which is why they know they know that you will remember it but you remember it imperfectly so now ishank was the only one who got d most of you said c but it is not c because here it said the new york times and new york times is american it may represent the global view but the example is talking about the american reaction new york times condemned it right wing american radicals supported it so the correct answer for 3 is not c but d got it the first paragraph does not talk about the global reaction is just one word that went wrong and because we didn't read it i told you i will not this is a lesson for you the there are many times i have taken cat or i have taken a mock when i'm not concentrating i go back from office i'm tired but there is a mock to be reviewed and if there is a mock to be reviewed if i don't read the passage properly sometimes in a hurry i'll say okay this must be the right one i remember it i'm sure it is d 9 out of 10 times i get it wrong because you can't the answer options are framed for this perfect scenario you don't have the time to read you are facing reading fatigue so you will hesitate to go back and cross check when you hesitate and go back to go back and cross check that's when you do it, make a mistake it won't take you more than 10 15 seconds so it's better to get three questions right and not attempt to fourth question rather than get one question right and three wrong correct all your good work will go all the nice work you've done in reading the passage summarizing it will go if you don't cross check for these minor details all right next one what can you infer about uh, sweden yeah the essay is part of an a on essay Aeon S C Cat does not necessarily so Aeon is a collection of essays from different sources, right? So it can have an article from the New York Times, it can have an article from something else. Because it's all arranged at one place, it's easier to refer to it rather than saying, "Okay, I need this passage." So Cat uses passages from different sources, including something like New Yorker or New York Times, which is there. Okay, Aeon essays is a good source. New York Times is a good source. Economist is a good source. I'm sure you've had this. Some teacher must have taken the session on what sources to read from. But the best I always find is the newspaper. The cheapest and the best Hindu Indian Express. Start with that. All right, which one can be inferred from Sweden? Then move on to Aeon and other essays. We will do this once a month. Okay, other sources. we'll use hindu and indian express predominantly what can be inferred about sweden read the option okay there are three levels at which you need to read okay ek passage padh liya you understood it okay understand what the question is asking understand what the answer option is saying all those who mark d what is the answer option saying put it in your own words and really has the author said that united states and other countries have been unfair in their portrayal of sweden sweden was a socialist paradise in the past but not in modern times us and other nations did not have an accurate understanding of sweden or d us and other nations underestimated the resilience of sweden during the pandemic those of you yes which is why i quoted it is a lovely article those of you who marked d i saw many d's at the beginning of the of the uh, session uh, the, when i showed this question first did the passage tell us how sweden fared during the pandemic that it showed remarkable resilience there were not many infections we do not know we do not know whether nothing has been mentioned about the resilience the ability to bounce back 
nothing has been mentioned about the resilience they reacted to sweden's response to the pandemic but nothing has been mentioned so this is out of scope of the passage okay unfair you do not know they just met, he said they did not they had a very simplistic interpretation of the swedish society that doesn't mention just or not just so it is not unfair the word unfair there is the word that makes this answer option wrong it says neither was it a socialist paradise nor is it a libertarian haven now so b is wrong they did not have an accurate understanding c is correct here he has written it that they misrepresented where is it here there has always been something simplistic about the presentations of sweden in the united states and elsewhere as a model of egalitarianism and social engineering they thought they had a misconception about swedish society it is neither socialistic as some people have said nor is it a libertarian paradise as some other portrait it's not either and to understand it he takes us into the what the society is like in the excerpt i have dealt with it super superficially in the actual passage which i want all of you to read question 4c all right good which of the following best explains the reference to texas now if you don't remember it you won't most of you won't you have to go back to the paragraph for this all right if you try marking an answer here there may be a chance guess lag gaya to lag gaya but that is not the way to answer all right which of the following best explains the reference to texas let's go back to the part of the passage where they uh, let's quickly say texas and sweden have many shared similarities share many similarities Sweden and Texas have opposite views on the political system. Texas gives priority to individual over collective good or Texas is similar to Sweden in being a model of solidarity. Pranav, do not answer the question. I will take you back to the passage. Once I tried to just show you why it is wrong to answer without looking at the passage. Uska matlab nahi ki aap har vak galti karo. Don't. Never do that. Okay, because you will make a mistake. Okay, where was Texas? Where was Texas? Somewhere in the first paragraph. Yes. Okay. Read in twenty twenty five seconds, and then I'll show you the passage, and you will get it right. There is no way you'll get the answer wrong. Okay, Ishank, you will remark the answer. All right. I want you to give me the correct answer now, Ishank and Pranav. Okay. another 10 seconds i'll show you then i i forgot to note the time i'll show you for another 10 seconds and i'll take you back to the question all right read it which part is it sweden suddenly seem to have become a european version of texas by putting individual liberty before the collective good whatever that means that is my answer all right your answers please options are here vaishnav what are the correct what is the correct answer quickly now you shouldn't take any time clear ishank now you know why it is that without looking at the option you had answered then now you all of you will get it right if you don't get it right i'll come after you right obviously it has become a european version of texas 
by giving priority to individual over the collective good so c is the answer if you don't look at the options if you if you really remember then you can mark the answer but most of us don't read that you're not supposed to read that thoroughly do a quick reading so you know what the author has mentioned where so that you know you have to look at the first paragraph for a mention of texas and then you get it okay next one what is the meaning or, or synonym of simplistic? The world has given a simplistic presentation of Swedish society. So what is the meaning of simplistic? Simple, over simple, complex or lucid. Solidarity has different meanings in different contexts. Here it means social solidarity means uh, supporting social uh, social concepts support, supporting community okay going ahead with that if it is simple why did he use the word simplistic lucid means clear okay suppose you see this is the example i always give people hindi films or any any uh, uh, you know formula hollywood movies are also like that give simplistic solutions to problems are simplistic solutions to problem real solutions so the hero is stuck behind 20 cars he wants to uh, talk to the heroine what does he do he gets out of the car and he jumps over each of the bonnets of the cars and then he reaches or there are two buildings right what will rajini khan do there are two high rise buildings he jumps from one to the other that's a simplistic solution. How do I go from tower A to tower B of the office or just jump from one tower to another? That's a simplistic solution. A simplistic solution is a superficial solution. It is not a prop. It's a solution which is not going to the core of the problem. So simplistic means over simple. It is not a synonym of simple. Understood? Lucid means clear. Is my explanation lucid enough for you? And simplistic is not complex. If I give a simplistic solution, it will not work. You understood? So therefore, the correct answer is over simple, superficial, not getting to the root of the problem. Please look up this word. Find out all the meanings associated with this word. You will understand the difference between simple and simplistic, which is a key. It's a favorite of cat question setters. Actually, it's a favorite of zat question setters. Okay, identify the rhetorical device used in the expression a social sociability. Expression kya hai? What kind of a social sociability? What what is that called? What figure of speech is it? What literary device has the is that? Juxtaposition, irony, oxymoron, onomatopoeia. It's an oxymoron. Oxymoron is where you have Two words next to each other contradicting true lies. According to the internet, happily married is an oxymoron. I don't believe in it. Okay, but I'm just telling you. All right. Okay, next question. Which one is a synonym of beacon? Sweden is seen as a beacon of socialism or India is seen as a beacon of democracy. What does beacon mean? Give me the question number. Question eight. Give me the question number. What does a beacon mean? Warning, anathema, imprecation, guiding light. Beacon can be what? A, guiding light, warning, this should have been capital G, warning, capital W, and or all should be in small, anathema or imprecation. What does beacon is a guiding light? It can act as a warning or a signal, but here he has used it as a guiding light. Anathema means a curse, which is the same thing as an imprecation. When you say the curse word aloud, that's an imprecation. Anathema is a situation which acts like against you. All right, next one. Which one is not a synonym of lamented? You all lamented that cat VARC is getting more difficult. It is not, but... 2005 6 read the passages of 2005 and 6 and you will never say VARC is becoming more difficult what is not a synonym of lament quickly a b c or d 9 c lament means to bemoan to complain to deplore 
okay and rejoice is the opposite excellent okay which one is a synonym of predisposition we have a predisposition blah 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 i will not give you the sentence prejudice bias premonition disposition what is the synonym of predisposition quickly premonition means pehle se pata hota hai some foreboding you know something wrong is going to happen that's a premonition do you think predisposition you have a predisposition for something your dad's very good at maths mom's very good at maths you have a predisposition for numbers both my parents were very good at maths but i of course predisposition means tendency pre kyun lagate hain pata nahi okay it means the same thing as a disposition premonition means having a foreboding knowing beforehand something bad is going to happen bias and prejudice means the same thing judging somebody without any evidence okay grammar question of the day the more individuals seek to detach themselves the more accurately they would feel the baleful nature of this necessity is this sentence correct or wrong quickly give me the question number the underlined part how would you correct it to make it perfect my time is running out i'm overshooting my time four more minutes i have so i have to conclude this by 12:45 latest no my cameraman will shut off the camera otherwise he's been warning me quick 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 is this rithik is this the answer for question 11 d likh liya kiske liye 11 ya 10 ka answer d tha give me the question number uh, ishank thinks it c when do you use will so you've learnt of a concept called parallelism what does the concept of parallelism say when you start a sentence in one tense one structure you finish it in the same way so use this to guide you the more individuals seek to detach themselves the more they feel the baleful nature option d others do not make it a parallel construction got it all right last question i have given a sentence here which has too many has and haves in it is this sentence correct it's this long sentence sweden has never been the socialist paradise some outsiders have imagined sweden has never been the socialist paradise some outsiders have imagined nor is it the libertarian haven it has been made out to be today correct or wrong correct or wrong yes for correct wrong then correct it for me question 12 this is the sentence is this correct or wrong there is nothing wrong in this sentence it's perfect it just has too many has and haves because it's talking of sweden as it is now right so the sentence is correct hope you enjoyed the session if you did do press the like button takes only 2 minutes 2 seconds join our courses we have lots of courses we have a free trial take it for 3 days so that you decide you can decide over a course of 3 days whether you like to join or not and i can tell you the answer if they are enroll now to get all the benefits of your for your cat 2023 preparation I want to see your face in these toppers list next time. Our comprehensive batches are on. Enroll now for maximum benefit. Take our scholarship test. The scholarship test will ensure, based on your performance, you get a huge fee waiver. The next scholarship test is on July twenty third. Please register for it. First come, first serve basis. Sixteenth July. Do not miss Srinivas Akapedi's workshop. MBA why how when when it will help you prepare for cat it will help you in your cat interviews one question that is definitely asked in an interview is why MBA and most of you come and ask me ma'am what should i answer if you attend this session you won't have to ask me this question join our social media handles we have lots of them subscribe share like the video and join me next tuesday at the same time for another editorial analysis see you keep reading tell me what you read over the last one week bye bye